Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my Week 6 NFL previews and analysis. This video is for the game between the Houston Texans and the St. Louis Rams. It'll take place down in Houston. Both these teams coming in with a record of 2-3, and three, looking to get to the 500 mark in this game. You know, Houston and specifically Matt Schaub in the news again this week. I mean, Schaub now has four games in a row where he's throwing a pick six, coming under a lot of scrutiny, uh, not only down in Houston, but all over uh, the NFL landscape. Gary Kubiak said, although he put in T.J. Yates late in that game against San Francisco, a 34-3 drubbing, he did say today that Matt Schaub is still his guy. Uh, look, I think they're going to ride Matt Schaub until they're out of it, and they're a long way from out of it uh, at 2-3 and three, uh, in a very, in my mind, uh, you know, AFC, where they can get right back in this if they go on a little bit of a run here. And I like the, the Houston in this game because I like their, their running game and the matchup against the St. Louis defense. If you remember a couple weeks ago how that 49ers offense really shredded the Rams from a running game perspective, I look for that to be a problem for the Rams defense again in this one. They're going to Texans team coming back home. That's going to be a little bit upset by how these last couple weeks have gone, and I look for them to really come out with their hair on fire uh, to prove that they're still an upper echelon team, not only in the AFC and in the NFL. I think that'll be done with the running game and Arian Foster to set up the play action passing. And if you look at that Rams defense, you know they played pretty well against the Jaguars last week, but note was noticeable was how Justin Blackman had a very good game. And I look for Andre Johnson and DeAndre Hopkins to really expose uh, that Rams secondary with some of the, 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 the sheer size mismatches they will have. As far as the Rams offense goes, I think running the ball will be a little bit of tough sledding uh, against this Texans defense. Uh, they're normally pretty good against the run. Uh, they, they didn't do a stellar job last week, certainly against the 49ers, but the 49ers, and you just asked the Rams, have a stellar running attack. Uh, I don't think the Rams pose that same kind of threat, and I don't like the Sam Bradford having to put the ball up in the air a lot against this Texans defense. Look for Wade Phillips to develop, Wade Phillips to, you know, throw some exotic blitzes and coverages at Sam Bradford if he's forced to, you know, try to throw the ball, you know, 45, 55 times in this game, which I think is going to end up happening. And, you know, whether Matt Schaub or TJ Yates starts, you know, they say it's going to be Schaub, but whatever guy starts for the Texans, I still really like them in this game. If Schaub does start, I look for him to get back on track in this game because uh, I really like the Texans' offensive matchup versus that Rams' defense for the reasons uh, that I had mentioned. You know, outside of the Rams' front four sort of waking up, uh, and getting to back how they were playing last year and having a freakish game, um, you know, against the Texans and that good offensive line. I don't see the Rams really uh, hanging uh, with the Texans in this one. I like Houston minus seven and a half at home against St. Louis. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter at S News Analysis. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, guys. I preview and recap every game every week. Thanks again for listening and have a great night.